right now. Continuing coverage on the death of Riley Dalgetch. The 17-year-old was hit by a Kent County patrol car in April, a crash that led to his passing one month later in May. Dalgett and another team were believed to be in possession of a stolen car. This dash cam footage depicting their high-speed chase in Kent County. Here you can see the two abandoning the car and running away seconds later, the moment of impact. New tonight, while the deputy will face no charges, the other teen who was driving the alleged stolen car that day faces three, including fleeing and eluding, causing death. Fox 17's Sam Lancer reports. More from Kent County Court. Yeah, that's right. Today was phase one of a two-phase hearing as the prosecution wants to charge the teen driving as an adult. In 17th Circuit Court, the deputy involved in the incident took the witness stand as the family of the teen and the mother, Riley Doggett, watched. It's horrible. Every time I have to see it, it's horrible. Replayed in court, the dash cam footage from April 8, 2024. Those are the last moments my son was able to move, do anything, and they took that from me. Becky Wilbert has seen it enough. They took my son, my kid's brother. It's, it's not good. For the first time Friday, she saw Josiah McMains in person, the deputy behind the wheel in the crash. There's plenty of other paths he could have chose different routes he could have taken. During testimony, McMain said he attempted to pass Doggett to block his path, driving at a close distance because he believed the public to be at risk. The prosecution arguing Friday the crash would not have happened if not for the chase. The defense countering, claiming Doggett left the car on his own free will, freeing the other teen of responsibility. He's a child. He was not the direct result of it. I, I don't agree with it. The mother of Doggett sides with the latter and sees her son's death this way. I think they should put the blame where the blame belongs and stop trying to direct it at a child. In the end, the judge ruled there was probable cause to charge the teen with fleeing and eluding. Now the case moves to phase two of the hearing, where it will be determined if charging him as an adult is necessary. While the date for that is set for October, the defense does plan to appeal. For now in studio, Sam Lancer, Fox 17 News.